Hello there. Welcome to Just the Discs. We talk about Blu-rays here, and of course 4Ks, and that is one of the major topics of discussion today. This is going to be an all Severin episode. Severin Films, of course, a favorite label of mine, and uh, boutique collectors around the world for the high quality discs and packages they put together and for the very interesting genre uh, films that they champion. And there's quite a variety here. Um, but I will start with Kathy's Curse. Uh, this one is a nutty movie and I actually remember the momentous release it had on Blu-ray many years ago from Severin, uh, triggered a early episode of my podcast, Pure Cinema, with my friend Elric Kane, and we did a whole episode called Ripoffs, and the, again, release of Kathy's Curse on Blu-ray was kind of the tipping point for that episode, um, but we've come a long way from then, and now we have a 4K version of Kathy's Curse. And Kathy's Curse um, from 1976. Uh, <laughs> it is a very unique film. Uh, it's been called Chilling and Disturbing, an Absolute Revelation, Unlike Anything You've Ever Seen. Uh, these are quotes from various uh, outlets. Uh, and now you can experience the director's cut and the American R rated release version in UHD for the first time ever. I guess sort of the plot is in 1947, a young girl is roasted alive in a car accident. 30 years later, her grown brother returns to their childhood home with his mentally unstable wife and sweet daughter, Kathy. But the dead aunt's vengeful spirit possesses the child and it will unleash unnerving, uh, an unnerving nightmare of creepy mediums, demonic dolls, and plenty of sick 70s foul mouth Moppet mayhem. Um, in an unprecedented source upgrade, both versions are scanned in 4K from a recently discovered um, negatives with two plus hours of special features. So I thought the Blu-ray Blu looked nice, but um, 4K definitely a step up. And I don't remember if the Blu-ray had both versions, but it's great to have both versions here. Of course, you get... Uh, a 4K and a Blu-ray and a booklet, which I'll get to, and reversible artwork because Severin's really cool about uh, reversible artwork. They know what collectors like. We like the ability to change things up, and uh, that is fantastic. One of many reasons why Severin is one of the best in the game. But yeah, this movie's nuts, um, and this is just the 4K standalone, but you can get a really nice um, box set. Uh, by that, I mean it's it's in a hard box with a gl with glow-in-the-dark eyes. That's the other thing Severn does that's really neat is they'll do, I don't want to say gimmicky, but little things like that that are just that extra something special for collectors. Um, I don't have that version, but I do recommend it. Uh, but yeah, this movie's crazy. It's just one of those bonkers, you know, doesn't feel like it's from this planet kind of films. Um, a favorite of Brian Collins, who, of course, has an audio commentary uh, with filmmaker Simon Barrett on the U.S. cut of the film. This is on the first disc. Uh, and uh, the second disc has all the features. It has that commentary. Then it has uh, Tricks and Treats, interview with director Eddie uh, Madelon, uh, Kathy's daddy, uh, Alan Scarf uh, remembers Kathy, Kathy's curse, Kathy and Mum, interview with actress Randy uh, Allen and costume designer Joyce Allen, and introduction to Cinematic Void slash American Ten Cinematech screening by Brian Collins. Uh, that's all included uh, on the second disc, the Blu-ray version. But yeah, really neat to have this wild wild horror film um <laughs> yeah and the and the limited edition uh slipcase that i mentioned um 
it says pull on the loop of the back ribbon at the top of the case to slide the interior housing away from the slip case in doing so the magnets discreetly package the inner case will activate the green LEDs behind Laura's eyes so you can and LED lights are powered by CR1220 button batteries and have a shelf life ranging from 1 to 10 years good to know um, but yeah definitely check out Severin's website for that but um, I was just happy to get a 4k of it and it looks great as I said okay next up another big sort of cult item uh, that Severin has put out in the past and that is Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker uh, and this one is another just bonkers bonkers movie just crazy movie uh, it's is getting its worldwide UHD premiere here and it remains the most joltingly violent psychosexual grindhouse shocker of the 80s directed by veteran uh, I Love of I Love Lucy and starring a frequently shirtless former teen idol with an epically demented performance by an Oscar nominee and now it can be experienced for the first time ever in UHD Jimmy McNichol stars as an orphaned high school student raised by his strangely overprotective aunt, Susan Tyrell. She is out of control in this movie, folks. Uh, she is from Fat City, among other things. She's really great in Fat City with um, Stacey Keach. Really recommend that one. Uh, Indicator put out a Blu-ray of that. Um, who becomes implicated in a grisly murder investigation by a psychotic police detective? Uh, an equally unhinged Bo Svensson here from Inglorious Bastards. Uh, seven-time Emmy nominee Julia Duffy from New Heart and Bill Paxton, one of his first film roles, co-star in this, quote, jaw-dropping hulk of genre insanity. Um, a former DPP-39 video nasty, also known as Night Warning, uh, is now scanned in 4K from the original camera negative with six hours of new and archival uh, special features. So that is just out of control. This is the cover, and of course, we also have Blu-ray and 4K and reversible artwork as well. Um, six plus hours, folks. That is that is something. But yeah, this is a beloved film. This is a film that I know my partner Elra Kane is a huge fan of, and um, it's nice to see it having gotten some great physical media treatment. This is like, I, I feel like Code Red had a Blu-ray and then I feel like Severin had a Blu-ray and now we have this uh, 4K. So uh, on the 4K disc, first the first disc, you have an audio commentary with star Jimmy McNichol. You have an audio commentary with co-writer producer Steve uh, Bremer and co-writer Alan J. Gluckman, moderated by Mondo Digital's Nathaniel Thompson. And an audio commentary with co-producer and unit production manager Eugene Mazzola. That's on the 4K. So you get those three commentaries. That's great. Uh, you also get those three commentaries on the Blu-ray. And in addition to that, you get Extreme Prejudice, an interview with actor Bo Svensson, Point and Shoot, an interview with director of photography Robbie Greenberg, Family Dynamics, an interview with editor Ted Nicolau, Cast and crew interviews with actors Jimmy McNichol, Susan Terrell, uh, Steve Easton, makeup artist Alan A. Apone, and producer Steve uh, Bremer. So uh, quite a lot of stuff included on this wonderful new 4K of Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. Yeah, it's um, it doesn't go into too much of the specifics of the murder side of things, and I kind of like to leave it there because... It is a movie best enjoyed, mostly uh, fresh. But suffice it to say that Susan Terrell, one of her <laughs> crowning performances and, and really something pretty incredible. Um, so that's Butcher Baker, Nightmare Maker. Uh, now we have Devil's Honey on 4K. This is a Lucio Fulci film, one that got some great attention when Seven released it on Blu-ray some years back. Uh, in one of the most twistedly intense films of his career, Lucio Fulci takes on the erotic thriller genre and le unleashes an onslaught of glossy depravity in UHD for the first time ever. Uh, Brett Halsey from Demonia and Corinne Cleary uh, and Blanca Marsalek um, 
star in this insane S&M saga, complete with tour romance, rampant nudity, woodwind-induced orgasms, and a cavalcade of kink to deliver what the digital bits call one of the sleazier films Fulci ever made. And that's saying something. Uh, Stefano uh, Madia and Bernard Saray and Fulci himself co-star in this psychosexual sicky, also known as Dangerous Obsession, now scanned in 4K from the original negative, with special features that include an all-new interview with Blanca Marcelac and a newly discovered audio interview with Fulci himself. Um, so that is the slipcase. There is your standard uh, art. And again, we have uh, Blu-ray and 4K. And um, reversible artwork as well. Featuring the saxophone, which does come into play and is certainly a bizarre turn that makes this movie quite unforgettable in its way. Um, yeah, again, another one I, I like that Severin doesn't really go deep into the plot of this because I do believe it's another one that um, needs to be seen to be believed, really, honestly. Uh, so uh, the 4K doesn't have any features on it. The Blu-ray has... Uh, sax lies and videotape. Very funny. Uh, interview with actress Blanca Marsalek. Uh, archival audio interview with Fulci by Michelle uh, Romagnoli. Uh, the Devil's Halsey, an interview with actor Brett Halsey. Uh, Wildflower interview with actress Corrine Clary. Producing Honey, interview with producer Vincenzo Salviniani. The Devil's Sax, interview with composer Claudio Natili. Uh, Stephen Thrower, author of Beyond Terror, the films of Lucio Fulci, and uh, other great um, film writing. Uh, there's an interview with him on The Devil's Honey, and Fulci's Honey, an audio essay by Troy Horworth, uh, author of Splintered Visions, the Lucio, Lucio Fulci and his films, as well as an alternate opening. So that's uh, super nice. Um, I forgot to mention, going back to Kathy's Curse for a second... The booklet um, it's got an uh, essay with I want to say the um, director but uh, it's not made too clear oh no it's Simon Barrett talking to Well, he does an essay on it, and there's like an interview in here as well. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to mention, and Collins has an essay in here too, so that's cool. Um, just wanted to mention that. Very nice. Okay, moving on. More 4K goodness. We have Sergio Martino's The Great Alligator. Now, I'm a big, big fan of Animal Attacks films. Uh, I also think Martino is a pretty great Italian director that... Um, has definitely gotten some love on Blu-ray, not as much on 4K. Uh, so this is one of the earlier 4K Martino releases. I'm sure there probably are others, but um, he's gotten a lot of love on Blu-ray from Arrow and some other labels. Uh, but okay, so director Sergio Martino, uh, All the, color, the Colors of the Dark, Torso, uh, he's done a lot of Gialli uh, as well. Combines Monster Reptile with an all-star Eurocult cast for one of the most outrageously entertaining Italian jungle carnage movies of them all, now in UHD for the first time ever. At the opening of a tropical resort, a photographer, Claudio uh, Casanelli of Slave of the Cannibal God, and anthropologist uh, Barbara Bach, and an arrogant hotelier, M Mel Ferrer, who was in Eaten Alive, uh, are besieged by hostile natives, obnoxious tourists, and a gargantuan river beast that intends to devour them all. Romano Puppo, Richard Johnson and Sylvia uh, Colatina, who is in House by the Cemetery, co-star in this top 10 killer alligator slash crocodile movies. A movie um, co-written by George Eastman, uh, Cesar Frugoni uh, of Spider Labyrinth, which I'll talk about in just a second, um, and Ernesto Gastaldi, uh, newly scanned in 4K from the original negative. Um, so the this has a 4K and a Blu-ray. And, of 
course, it has some cool reversible artwork. Um, the 4K does not have any features on it, which is okay. Uh, but the Blu-ray has quite a bit of stuff here. It has Down by the River, an interview with director Sergio Martino. Uh, Minu, an interview with actress Silvia Colatina. Beware the Gator, an interview with camera operator Claudio Morabito. Later Alligator, interview with production designer Antonello uh, Gelling. Underwater interview... Uh, Underwater interview with underwater camera operator uh, Gia Lorenzo Battaglia. Uh, three friends and an alligator discussion with cinematographer Giancarlo Ferrando, production designer Antonello Gelling, and special effects supervisor Paolo Ricci. Uh, Paradise House, Christianity, and the Natural World in the Great Alligator video essay by Lee Gambin, author of Massacred by Mother Nature. He's a big Animal Attack film guy. He's got that book, and uh, so I enjoy seeing him on various uh, Animal Attack movie Blu-rays and 4Ks. Alligator Land, Antonello uh, Gelling shares original production drawings. Um, 235 to 1. Nice looking. Again, all these are nice looking 4K scans. These are from the original negatives, and they look great, and that's one of the things I love about Severin is they do a great job with their scans and they always try to seek out original camera negative when they can and uh, their discs uh, look great. These are better than these films have ever looked. They really have taken a lot of care with them. Uh, one more 4K here. We have The Spider Labyrinth um, or Spider Labyrinth. Uh, this is one that I had not heard of until Mr. Elder Kane brought it to my attention. I think I talked about this one when I got uh, I might have picked up this 4K before. I can't remember now, but wanted to mention it here. Um, for more than three decades, the remarkable feature debut and sole horror film by award-winning director Gianfranco Giangni uh, has been one of the most elusive Italian horror titles in the home in home video history until now. Yeah, I remember when Elric discovered it, it was not on Blu-ray and had not been easy to find at all. And now Severin has brought it out on 4K. And um, so this 4K uh, comes with a Blu-ray as well. And uh, no reversible artwork on this one. But uh, the 4K has an audio commentary with Dr. Will Dodson, professor of rhetoric and media studies, and Ryan Verrill, host of The Disconnected. Um, they uh, have their own... Um, Shingle now as special feature producers and this is one of their earlier commentaries a great track, well researched and well done uh, very exciting to see them showing up on discs I know they've got a lot of stuff in the works and I'm sure this year we'll start to see a lot more of their stuff uh, coming to Blu-rays um, so um, anyway um, when a sorry uh when an American presser is sent to Budapest to complete a mysterious research project, he'll become ensnared in a mind-bending web of sexual provocation, occult carnage, and arachnidian havoc. Roland uh, Wybenga, William Berger, uh, and Stefan Audren star in this invaluable contribution to 80s Italian horror, featuring an unnerving, unnerving special effects by Sergio Stivaletti, who worked on Cemetery Man, which also came out in a 4K at the same time that this film did. Now scanned... Uh, in 4K from the original vault negative, it's Chinichita with over four hours of new special features for the first time ever. So that commentary is one I mentioned. Caught in a web, an interview with director Gianfranco Giagni. Uh, Arachni, interview with screenwriter Gianfranco Manfredi. Uh, All the Colors of a Spider, interview with cinematographer Nino Celeste. Smile of the Spider Woman, interview with actress Paolo Rinaldi. Death in Stop Motion, interview with special effects artist Sergio Stivalati. Uh, Web of the Weird, placing Spider Labyrinth in the weird genre with a, with Dr. Will Dodson, Ryan Verrill, and Erica Schultz, author of The Sweetest Taboo and Unapologetic, Unapologetic Guide to Child Kills in Film. She's also from the um, Unsung Horrors podcast. Um, but that's another one from their produ production uh, uh, shingle, and uh, very excited to have that here as well. 
but a really nice release, uh, 185 to 1, um, uh, in English stereo and Italian stereo, a uh, very nice release of the Spider Labyrinth. Okay, last of the four gays. Now we have some westerns, some wild westerns happening here. We have this one called uh, Scavengers. Um, and these are westerns that I've never heard of. Uh, this one's from 1969. One year after, well, you know what? I should start with Hot Spur. Because Hot, Hot Spur, I guess, comes first. So this would be 1968. Um, so having struck gold with shockumentaries like Echo and Mondo Bizarro, producer Bob Cressy and writer-director Lee Frost applied their distinctive sleaze aesthetic to a revenge western they advertised as 91 minutes of Freudian fury. It would soon redefine the Ruffy, be named one of the top 10 movies in 1969 by conservative publication National Review, and become one of the most notorious exploitation films in history. Joseph Mascolo from Days of Our Lives of uh, Virginia Gordon and John Alderman star in this infamous Olympic international hit now scanned uncut in 4K from the recent uh, recently discovered negative with special features from the Something Weird archive that include the 1963 Frost Crest Stripper epic uh, Hollywood's World of Flesh and the 1968 Nudie Cutie short, The Casting Director, starring Bob Cressy and directed by David F. Friedman. So that's some nice inclusions. You get a couple extra movies here. This uh, does have some interesting alternate artwork, a little more plain. Um, but it's always fun to see Severin collaborate and Agfa or whoever with something weird because um, their movies are weird and interesting. And this is one I hadn't heard of. Um, so this Blu-ray uh, features an audio commentary of Vinegar Syndrome's Joe Rubin himself. Seven Films is Andrew Furtado, big fan of Andrew, and Bob Cressy, friend slash former something weird general manager Tim Lewis. Recently discovered audio discussion on Frost Cress Cressy uh, by David F. Friedman and something weird founder Mike Vraney. Uh, Hollywood's World of Flesh, early Frost Cressy feature, that's 64 minutes, and the casting director short, starring Bob Cressy, directed by David F. Friedman. So um, some nice, like I said, features there. Archival marketing materials reproduced on the reverse wrap. That's what that was. So this is a 137 to 1, English mono, region free. Looks interesting. Uh, 1869, the, the West at its rawest, when the only thing faster than the guns or cheaper than lives were the women. So following that is uh, the Scavengers. Um, and it says that one year after Hot Spur changed, forever changed exploitation cinema, writer, uh, producer Bob Cressy and director Lee Frost fused their sex and violence template with the cultural chaos of 1969 then defiled it uh, all in a raw orgy of nihilistic brutality when a renegade Confederate uh, detachment invades a frontier town. They'll spark a rampage of sadism, racism, violation, and vengeance that still has the power to shock audiences more than half a century later. John Bliss, Mary Elise, Bruce Kimball, and Ushi Degard star in the uh, final unforgettable Cressy Frost collaboration, now scanned in 4K from the original camera negative, recently discovered in a Paris lab, and presented in both its unrated and R-rated release versions. Um, so this new Blu-ray includes an audio commentary, again, with Joseph's Joe Rubin from Vinegar Syndrome, Seven Films' is Andrew Furtado, and Temple of Schlock's Chris Pojali uh, on the unrated version only, as well as a theatrical trailer, a theatrical trailer that says Hot Version, and our family album promotional program replica. Um, and this is another one where the archival marketing materials are rep reproduced on the reverse wrap. Uh, here, which is interesting. I guess you could you could use it as an outside um, wrap if you like too, which is kind of cool. Uh, all region and the all our family album. Um, promotional program replica is included here which is very cool as a booklet um okay so that is 
the Scavengers from 1969. And lastly, we have Lola. Uh, and Lola uh, is from 2022. So this is a new film. It wowed audiences at Locarno, Edinburgh, and Fright Fest and won top prizes at uh, Triest and Sitges. Uh, it's been hailed as a mag uh, magnetic, masterful, and deeply disturbing. Now this one-of-a-kind gem can be discovered by genre fans everywhere. The year is 1941, and brilliant UK sisters Thomasina, uh, Emma Appleton, and Mar uh, Martha, Stephanie Martini, uh, have created a device that intercepts broadcasts from the future. Besides revealing the coming glories of rock and roll, the invention, which they call Lola, also allows them to alter the course of World War II, but they, will their unmaking of history provoke a lifetime of shocking consequences? Rory Fleck Byrne uh, co-stars in this ingenious debut feature from director co-writer Andrew Leg Leggy. Uh, that the horror buzz calls a bracing sci-fi mind bender that reminds you why you like movies. Um, sounds fascinating to me. A movie that I had not heard of until this release. I'm out of touch with some festival stuff, unfortunately, but that's what Severin's here for. They are doing, obviously, uh, a new film that they really believe in. They don't do a ton of new films, per se, outside of their documentaries, so this means something to me that they have embraced this one. Uh, audio commentary included with co-writer-director Andrew Leggy and producer Alan Meyer. Maher. The Making of Lola, uh, an outtake, Remember Tomorrow, a trailer, short films by Andrew Leggy, uh, The Girl with the Mechanical with me, the mechanical Maiden from 2012, and The Unusual Inventions of Henry Cavendish, Cavendish from 2005. Um this does not have reversible artwork and the blu-ray there um so that's cool you get short films from this gentleman and this feature which does sound fascinating i'm interested in time related stuff you know where you can alternate history you can change the future that kind of thing i'm always interested in that sort of film so this sounds pretty intriguing um these three lola hotspur and the scavengers are available as a just the discs bundle I do love that um, Severin has started doing these Just the Disc bundles. I don't believe it is any relation to this channel, but I do love seeing uh, Just the Discs <laughs> on the Severin website for whatever reason. So they have a couple Just the Discs bundles happening uh, at their site right now. But um, anyway, that will do it for this Severin Films discussion. Head on over to severinfilms.com to uh, pre-order and... Uh, Check out what they have uh, upcoming. Their new Bruce Ploitation uh, documentary and set looks pretty epic. Uh, I hope to get to check that out. Perhaps um, they do some of the best box sets in the game, really. So every time they release a box set, it is incredibly tempting to pick it up because I've never been disappointed by one of their box sets to date. Um, anyway, big thanks to Severn Films and uh, thank you to you for listening. I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.